What's up, guys? Welcome to your Bitcoin update. We're going to be watching the weekly close, see what happens here. Uh, something I just want to point out real quick. <clears throat> if you notice where we're at on this and where we're getting this, obviously it hasn't closed yet. It's got eight minutes to close, but it does look like a shooting star. Um, this is a shooting star for those of you that don't know what a shooting star is and this is on the weekly that doesn't mean it can't go up afterwards but i do want to show you something pretty damn interesting on the chart if you look back the last time we had one of these was right here as you can see it was above the 8 ema just like this one is now I mean, this morning, if you were watching on Twitter and everything else, I uh, talked about 61 being major resistance right now. I still believe that. But look at this gravestone doji right here. This was the last one we've seen like this. Um, and you'll, you'll notice that one was above all the EMAs, too, and that was before a big bear market. So just be cautious. Be aware that that is not a good candle printing at all right here on the weekly but again that doesn't mean we can't go up as you can see back here let's let's put this on here back here we did a drop we dropped back down below tested the eight <clears throat> ema one more time and then came up did not quite get to the top of that and that's where our triangle formed for the top we could see something like that it's very uh possible another thing i want to point out right here let me get these fibs off here is as you guys know this is the long-term bull bear line that we were talking about forever and what i think that is a good possibility right now is we are in wave one <clears throat> down and i i see wave one down if it happens like it did over here let me get some of this stuff out of the way as you can see this right here where i have this arrow i'm gonna put this this could be a fractal too could be bullish but i still see around 53,000 before that happens. 51 to 53,000, you guys know I've been talking about that for quite some time now. Um, I still am. Another thing I wanna point out is where this is getting the bounce here off of this line. Um, is that possible that we just get another bounce up for here, from here and this is just a smaller wave one? That is a possibility, but we're gonna look at everything real quick, but I do wanna point out this fractal right here. <laughs> Uh, Rashid, sorry, what are your thoughts? November 3rd, F Fed announcement. Um, are you, what, what Fed, Fed announcement are you talking about? I'm not even familiar with what you're talking about there. Are you talking about, um, uh, them the, slowing down the printer a little bit? Uh, but anyways, this here could be this fractal playing out now this is the bullish case and the bullish case still isn't a hundred thousand um in my opinion if we were to get the bullish case i've talked about this plenty of times before if you look at this fractal right here we could just be making another same thing right here but even this bullish case that would get us up to around the 74 75 thousand dollar range we still have this drop to the 51 to 53,000, um, if that's the case. If we cannot break back down below this green trend line, right now it sits around 62 or 6,250. Um, if we can't break back below that, then possibly um, there, there is no fractal here, nor wave one. But what I also believe is very possible is this being a wave one. We'll look at it on a different chart here. But a wave one here, and if you look at the wave one back over here, see how long that took to play out. Everybody expects everything to happen in one day. Um, that's not how it usually happens. And we'll go back to the weekly here in a second. Um, but let's let's look at this. This wave one over here took 11 days. So, and it doesn't have to always play out the same. So, but I do want to point out. So if this took 11 days, uh, we would be at... The October 31st would be the bottom here when we get a bounce back up to maybe that 61, 62,000 range. If we do get a rejection there, then I'll be looking for wave three. As you guys know, I'm in a short um, since uh, I posted it all over on Discord. And uh, right, right when I did it, it was at 66.8. Um, I will be getting out, getting out of that if we do hold support here and start 
continuing up. But as of right now, um, it's still looking like this is a pretty damn good possibility uh, that we are just in wave one. Uh, you said if we break 58, we would be bullish and that you would admit that would happen. Um, I set a break above this line. Bitcoin's bullish a break below it's bearish. Um, we are still playing on that line. And what I had said, 58, you have to look at how things play out. It's not about the price. It's about how they get there. Uh, this is obviously a, a quick, huge run up that was not going to be maintained. Kind of like you got on uh, SHIB back here. So, whoops, this isn't it. Let me go over to uh, this one. We had, if you guys are members, you know we called this on Saturday's member video uh, that that would be the top for SHIB, and it was an exact dead on. Anyway, let's look at the weekly real quick. So, it does look like we're getting that. Uh, Tomorrow, the police in Germany is stating an auction to sell BTC that they confiscated in crimes. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, your green line is currently support, yet you're talking shorts, taking shorts. Yeah, I took a short for a reason. If you follow me, you'll see that. Um, go back to my Twitter. I posted it on there, why and when. I also did the same thing on Discord. If you're just watching parts of videos and not really paying attention... You're not going to get this stuff. Um, uh, so at the moment, it's neither bullish or bearish until confirmation. Yes, this, though, is definitely a bearish weekly candle. There's no denying that. That is definitely a shooting star. Um, let's see if you can see it here. Try to make it bigger for you. Uh, right there. That is a shooting star. And that is at the top of a trend. And that is what we've got so far for our weekly. So I would be extremely cautious if you are bullish up here. Um, I still see, like I said, for the bullish case, price goes up and down, guys. Even for the bullish case, this is the bullish case. I still see it going back down to around that 51 to 53,000 range and getting a bounce there. Then... We could decide what happens after that. But as of right now, this is what I'm looking for. Um, let me go to, let's go to the daily. Daily, we are still getting rejected on the 8 EMA. And the 4 hour, as you guys know, uh, we talked about this. 55 EMA being resistance. We tried to get above it back over here. Tried to make it support. That did not happen. It is now still resistance. I um, mean, this is the what I'm looking for right here. Unless we break up above this 62.4 range, 62.5 possibly if it took a couple days here. I'm going to put this up there so you guys can see it uh, right here. We'll just put it at the top of that trend line. If we break above this trend line here and get support, uh, then we possibly could be coming up to retest this area um, around the, the highs. But... Um, as of right now, we're getting resistance right here. I do have some measured moves here, and actually it's going to change a little bit because that is not where we broke. So let's do this. If we do break down from here. Well, let me. I don't want to go that low. Let me see. Let's say we break down from here overnight or tomorrow, right? This target will change, but... If we break down tonight or tomorrow, this would be where I'd be looking for a bounce uh, around the fifty-four to $55,000 range. Um, also, ultimately, looking for this target here. As you guys know, we've had this target from here. Um, and for you that said, but you said 58 and then you were bullish. Well, we look for patterns. We found this pattern. We broke this pattern. This pattern gives us around a $52,000 target, depending on what time frame you look at it in. If you look at it on the daily, this is, let me get that off there. Uh, if you look at it on the daily, it goes to around 50, 51, four, somewhere in that range. But like I said, uh, we'll see what happens. Right now, this 8 EMA at 61, 272 seems to be hella resistance. Uh, if we break down past, 
If we get a daily close above this 60,331, that'll negate the 13 EMA there. And then our next line of support for the daily is 58.3. And then ultimately back down here to that 51 to 53,000 that I am going to continue to look for unless we break uh, up high. Weekly close is very ugly. Yes, weekly we have a bearish divergence on RSI, MACD, and no volume. Yeah, there's bearish divergence on the weekly RSI, but you can't totally depend on that um, because if you take the last two highs, which right here and right here, then we do not have divergence. Uh, but if you look at the big picture, yes, there is divergence. But I think we've we had that back here too. Where is it at? uh i guess we yeah right here was it nope thought we had some weekly divergence like that before that did not play out mm, maybe not but yeah there's huge divergence there i mean if you want to look at it that way you have this high that high lower highs but this can be negated it can be um broken we're obviously in the weekly but yeah we do we are having a lower high in the price action or a higher high in the price action, lower high in your RSI. That is bearish divergence on the weekly. But again, that's the weekly. So this weekly candle could still spike up before coming back down. I mean, um, it, that is what it is. Let's see if this 61,000 um, is able to hold this support. If you guys pay attention to the charts, usually every daily after it opens, it will go in one direction first, create a wick, and then goes down. You, you won't see any dailies hardly. There are some, there are a few, um, but you won't see any dailies without a wick. So you always got to acknowledge that it's probably going to make a wick somewhere and it hasn't made a wick below. Looks like it's making a wick above. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, see if this 8 EMA on the 4 hour can hold around 60,800. Um, this candle is also looking like a gravestone doji on the four hour so be aware of that my short i'm still in at 63 right on mohammed just make sure you set your uh stops and some profit just in case you do get a crazy uh weekend spike up to this range but yeah you can't lose now as long as you put your stops in it at least break even what's up mj Uh, at some point, can you show you where you put your stop losses and why? Also calculate your liquidation price. Well, when I made this short, it was because of this line here. And I had my stops at 67.3, which would have broke this line. And then I moved my stops down. Once we broke this, we, we gained support. My stops currently are at 65. Um, I may move them down here to the 60. Above this trend line here, around 63,000. But as of right now, I I can't lose my short. That is what trading's about. But this isn't looking very strong here, holding the 8 EMA here. We'll see what happens. Let me zoom in a little bit on this. Let me get the RSI off there. But as you guys can see, so if this does continue to drop down, we will get an EMA sell signal in the next couple days. And remember, we've been in this downtrend for, this will be the one, two, three, four, fifth day. The last one took 11 days for the wave one, if that's what we're getting. And then wave two should be a bounce between 51 and 53,000 back up towards that 62,000 range somewhere in there. And guys, that is the area to try to catch for a primo short if this is a five wave down. Um, I cannot stress that enough. That will be primo. Uh, we talked about it plenty of times, but it would be something like this. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be exact. But what we'll do, uh, once this does have a bottom, once we can tell this possibly bottomed out, uh, then what we would do is we'd put the Fibonacci retracements on that bottom. 
So if you're not in a trade right now, I, I don't suggest getting in one. I suggest waiting for this bottom, maybe riding this wave two up if this is what happens, and then looking for your short. Um, and that would put the short somewhere, depending on where it is. Um, your golden pocket zone, if we do hit, say, 52,000, the golden pocket zone is going to be right around here, around the 62,000. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that goes in confluence with that. And let me show you. Um, don't forget to smash the likes, guys, if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I do daily updates. We also do member videos on the weekends. We've been going through alts and things like that on the weekends also. Um, you can join that by hitting the join button under the video. If you don't see the join button, go into um, underneath the video. I'll show you real quick. For those that don't know how to smash the like button, it's right there. Smash it. Got 22 dislikes right on. A lot of bulls out there. Pissed off. Um, let's see. Go down in here, and under the video, you will see uh, there's, there's a lot of um, different affiliate links in here. They all help the channel out. Also, giving you some kind of discount or bonus. And right down here is the membership. Uh, a lot of people said they couldn't find it, so there it is. Let me also show you, if you guys are interested in trading and don't want to get on them scammy exchanges that clump your trades all together in one, you can keep your trades separate. You can have multiple trades in at the same time. Definitely check out PrimeXBT. That's also on my YouTube page right here. Um Shows you how to adjust your leverage and all that stuff right on it. It's a simple calculation. A lot of people think it's confusing. It is not. Definitely look, watch that video if you are interested. Um, you can trade a lot of different stuff on it, too. You can trade um, ADA, BTC, Doge, DOT, EOS, Ethereum, Link, LTC, Sol, uh, Uniswap, XRP, forex so you can trade forex on here and i think the forex you can go really high leverage but i don't suggest super high leverage but you can trade gold uh silver oil uh, s p dow jones japan um all kinds of stuff definitely check it out if you haven't guys this is by far the best exchange and you can use my promo codes savvy 50 that will get you 50 percent on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus and savvy 25 will get you 25 percent off of your fees there was another one that was a video i made uh, i don't know a couple weeks ago talking about the same thing a possible redistribution or a possible distribution just like we had back there as you guys know we had the f top um called right about here 43 35 we went a little above it but the reason we made that target was this falling channel here that was the measured move of this falling channel we put that in when it broke right here uh, back on October 3rd, and it hit perfectly. As for Litecoin, Litecoin, ooh, it is, if it drops below this 189, it's pretty much done. If it can hold support here, then I would look for 222 if that breaks 259. But if it cannot hold the support here, um, it's bad news for Litecoin, guys. Silver, you guys know I'm bearish on that. Um, it's well, let's see the dollar. Did the dollar start trading? It did. Let's see what the dollar does here. Uh, this is going to be interesting. The dollar is finding support right now on the 200 EMA. As you guys know, I'm bullish on the dollar. This is our support on the dollar that we're bouncing off of right now. I am extremely bullish on the dollar and have been for quite some time. Um, I will remain bullish on that. Unless we do something, we go back below, you know, this 92 or something. That could be bad. But if you look here, um, it does look like it's in a wedge and ready to blast off. I do think when the dollar makes a move, it's going to be huge. It's going to be fast. And the markets will be coming down. Uh, this was, I, I heard, I don't know his name. Some YouTuber is making it, talking about a 10 or 12 year cycle. We made this uh, back in like february or march and everybody was you know pissed off calling me crazy but i this i'm not so sure about the 1500 not saying it's not possible though but i do think this could have been one big cycle 10 to 12 year cycle and we could get a multi-year bear cycle 
let's see what the stock traditional stock markets do i do think they're bearish as hell um as you guys know let's go over to the dow jones real quick this is the highest i see the dow jones going around this thirty six thousand range um and i do think that will be the end of the of it for the dow uh my opinion not yours do what you will but that's where i'm if we get above this then maybe you know that's incorrect but i don't think that looks good and it matches up with the dollar taking off and everything else uh what's bitcoin doing let's go into smaller time frames still playing in between that eight and or i'm sorry 13 and eight ema savvy leave the coins kid alone um, I, I actually like the guy. He was one of the less rude bulls, but he tweeted today kind of a snarky thing when we got this little pump. Um, as you guys know, I've been calling 51 to 53. Uh, he made a video last week saying, he made it right up here, saying that 75,000 was next, and then it crashed. He made the same video. You can go back and look on his channel. He made the same video right here at this top. Wait. I'm sorry. Is it that? Yeah. Right here at this top, calling 75 also. So human emotions always react the same over and over and over again. Maybe another leg up to 63.5 or near 64.75. Uh, it's possible. Anything is possible. But let's, let's go into smaller time frames and kind of see what's going on here. Um... People can trade the lower time frames. I don't like to. Um, it's just too choppy and too crazy. I like to stay in the bigger time frames. But let's see what's going on here. Uh, we are playing around with the 200 EMA on the 15 minute. Could this be a bull flag? And where would the target be if it was? Let's take a look at that. So, if this is a bull flag... This on here. This would be the bull flag target. Let me see. So if that's a bull flag, our target is about that 62.4 range, which would be the top of this rising. Uh, actually, megaphone, whatever. A lot of people call this a lot of different things, a broadening wedge, whatever. Um, but that would get us up to the top of that if it does play out, if we're able to break that. But as of right now, let me get this off there. We are getting rejected on the 15-minute at the 200 EMA. And again, guys, this is a tiny, little, tiny, tiny time frame. Alessio Elliott Wave Guru says we're on wave five of three. That's, yeah, that's uh, that's the guy I'm talking about. Yeah, he says that. I don't. I don't think that count is correct. Uh, that one I just showed you, I think, is more likely because it would line up with a ten or twelve year cycle. Where is it? Right there. Um, yeah, he's saying that this can't be wave one. Blah 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 blah. I get it, but this is the count I have, and that makes this the fifth wave. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the the count he has has his wave threes all goofy and. Uh, his wave fives really just doesn't make sense. I don't know how else to put it. What do you think of the weekly chart with that IRSI? Uh, we just went over that weekly. Um, we go back. We'll go back to it. Let me get this off of here. But yeah, Ed's. A lot of people freaking out with a lot of different stuff right now. But, yeah, that weekly is pretty damn ugly. That was a hell of an ugly weekly close. And as you're talking about the weekly RSI here, definitely possible um, bearish divergence. But it's so early in that this could still swing up. So there's still a chance the bulls um, could push this up. But I wouldn't count on it, honestly. I... Also, I have a red monthly divergence that plays out 100% of the time, at least in regards with stocks. November closing could be hugely bearish. Uh, let's look at the monthly. 
you're talking about here and here. That is a pretty big bearish divergence, and this would be a huge bearish divergence on the monthly. Um, <clears throat> if that was the case, then you would be looking for the RSI to come back down to this range. We will see what happens here. Um, but if you look back here, where was it? No, I guess that wasn't divergence. Yeah, there is some pretty big divergence there, too. Be cautious, man. Like I said, now is not the time to get super bullish. Um, especially with that weekly candle close right there. And especially with everything else topping out. But if you look at that, that... That 55 EMA is being huge resistance. I mean, huge, heavy, heavy, heavy resistance. Question for shitcoin. What's the measured move for Dogecoin? You call it shib perfectly. Um, I, I hate looking at them. But I'll look at Doge. Uh, what are we going to look at it on? Dogecoin. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I thought I did this today. Maybe I didn't. Whoops, let's make that a lot smaller. There we go. We're going to also put this up here. All right. So if Doge is able to break this 24 or 20, 28 and a half cents, if that's able to break. So right now, I'm not even going to say what I would do, but I will tell you what to look at. Let's go that route. And you guys know I don't trade shit coins, but uh, then I would be looking for somewhere around the 30 cent range. I'm trying to look at the bigger picture, but yeah, it just looks like a dying penny stock, honestly. Um, but let's take a look at it. So if not, if it cannot get above that 28 and a half cents, be looking for coming back down here, which will line up with testing that 200 EMA again. And if that breaks, uh, this is what. I would be looking for so a break of 24 cents or 24 point or 24 and a half somewhere in that range this would be my bearish target again I'm leaning towards the bearish because I think Bitcoin still is headed down to that 51 to 53 thousand range so somewhere in there 17 cents which would line up with old support and resistance all the way across. Uh, this does look like a possible... Uh, man, that thing looks ugly. Let me look at something else in the bigger picture here. <clears throat> yeah, so if it does break that 20... What was that? Uh, 28 cents, look for about 30 cents, and then a rejection. Let's see what happens there. Otherwise, I see it coming back down, breaking this, and uh, if that breaks, it could get really bad for Doge. Uh, we're talking back down to that 6 cent range. Yeah, 8 cents, 6 cents. 
Could Binance scam Wick to 8K be a warning of what's to come? I've said that. Um, it definitely could be. It definitely could be. It could have been a, a mark, mark the uh, top event. Market looks like it will be red for the next two weeks. Um, I don't know, two weeks. Like I said, uh, I think maybe another week. Um, what are we in the fourth day of this downtrend? Uh, yeah, we're in the f well, one, two, fifth day. So say by right Friday, maybe might be the end of this downtrend if it does play out like I believe down to this fifty-one to fifty-three thousand. But we do have some bullish divergence here to watch for also. But uh, point I want to make on this daily is if you take a trend line off of these lows right here right there um if it does pop up i would look for this this daily uh trend line on the rsi to hold but yeah sixty one thousand seems to be huge huge resistance right now and that is the 21 ema on the four hour uh that's what we've been talking about for quite some time i remember and that was another thing coins kid uh when i once we broke this and i said the target was 51 to 53 he had laughed and said we were going to bounce off the 55 EMA here, which would have been at 61.4, and we did not. We came below it, and it is now resistance, just to point that out. And only because he just made a shitty comment today, being a smart ass. So, Have you seen the moon cycles seem to be really accurate? Any thought to it, the market tops? Um, I don't follow that. I, I do know that some people do, but I don't, so I really can't say. I love the fact that I get to watch this while making money doing DoorDash. <laughs> right on, Bass Man. Uh, Coins Kid said that Doge is going to a dollar eight. All right, we'll see. Like I said, um, you know when when guys get something right, they you know will gloat. But like I said, if you look at his and every other um, pe person that's still calling 100,000, they were guaranteeing back here at 65, uh, 75,000 to 100,000 back then. And look what happened. It just straight dropped. So just be cautious. Um, and guys, something else I wanted to say is I actually trade, right? So 99% of these YouTube traders, um, they're just hodlers. So their narrative in their mind the only way they can go make money is going up so they're gonna be biased towards the towards up all the time because that's how they're gonna make money so they might say they're traders but i know for a fact most of them do not trade they do not trade Easy, 25 to 30 bucks an hour. Nice. Is that calculating your fuel and everything, Bass Man? So moral of the story is the weekly candle closed ugly as shit, guys. Don't forget to smash the likes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll, we will be tracking these moves. Like I said, the the big move to watch for is going to be if this is a wave one. And to get on wave three short, wave three is always the most violent, as you can see back here. That wave three wave took, uh, let's see how long that took. Damn it. It took... Took nine days. Wave three was less time than wave one and double the movement. So, guys, if this is going to be a wave one, two, and then a three down, man, if you catch a short on that third wave, that is where the money is. Savvy 
have you ever seen the moon indicator it will be fun to check out real quick moon indicator i have not um let's see if i can find it which one the moon cycles There, I put the moon cycle indicator on there. Is that the one you're talking about? <clears throat> moon phases? Oh, the first one? All right, let me go back. Let me get this one off of here then. This doesn't make, this one doesn't look like it does shit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Eric Taylor, how can I join members? How is Spy looking? Um, there is a, if you go underneath the video, I just showed that in the beginning. I'll show that again real quick and we'll get back to that. But if you go under the video right here, real quick and we'll get and back I don't, to that. But if you I don't, don't pay attention to Spy, the video like right watch here. the Dow. But um, let's see. Right here, there's a join button under the video. If you don't see that, uh, there's memberships link right under there if you go in the description. But that is how you join. <clears throat> Let's go back over to this. Which one was it that we were looking at? Oh, there it is. Moon. All right. Let's look at that moon indicator. This one right here. Oh, moon phases. I gotcha. Let me delete this one. Damn it. Moon phases. So. Uh, let's see. That. That was perfect for the, the one wave, two wave, three wave, four wave. Does this is this just one of those indicators that print after the fact though? I would have to watch it. It it just a lot of them you gotta watch because they'll erase stuff, they'll paint stuff in. Um but yeah, I don't I don't see this making a whole lot of sense, but what's it supposed to be every time the, the moon hits here, it goes up. When it hit here, it was supposed to go down, but it did not, so that was a fail. Uh, we had downside here. Uh, here it was almost straight across. Uh, same thing here, almost straight across. This one had a pump. This one down. This one straight across. Um, I don't know. I don't really see anything spectacular about that, to be honest. But, hey, to each their own. I, to, to me, a lot of these are a waste of time, in my opinion. But, I mean, that didn't give you really any good call. Can you look at the Dow? Yeah, I did earlier, but I'll go back over to it. Um, like I said, this would be the highest point for the Dow. If it does break this trend line, then I think I'm wrong. Um, but I do think the, tow, the Dow is going to be topping out around here. Uh, let's go into the weekly. But yeah, you'll see the same thing in the Dow. There's It's just making major bearish divergence here. Um, that looks like a distribution. Definitely a distribution phase to me because of how it's topping on the weekly. Do you see the... The th three lower highs and then you three higher highs. If you go back to Bitcoin, I'm going to put this back on the daily so I don't get screwed. Uh, let's go with it a daily. Um, but you'll see that happened here. Let me go into the daily real quick. All right, so you can see when it topped out here, the same thing. You had distribution with these three peaks and you had lower lows. So I think the Dow is in for a huge bear market. My opinion, not yours. Um, I could definitely be wrong, but I think it is time. And I think it lines up with all the other charts too. The Dow is in jeopardy. <clears throat>
<laughs> wow, you made it. What's up, Eric? So anyways, do you guys feel like going over some alts? Um, if you do, we'll go over alts for a couple minutes and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to get out of here. Smash those thumbs up, guys. I do appreciate it. Yep, we're just bouncing around in between the 8 and the 13 right now. Nothing. ADA. Let's do ADA. Um, did we do? We did do ADA. So here's my chart on ADA. Uh, this is what I'm looking for, a break of either one of these trend lines here. If ADA does go below this $2 range, um, I would definitely be looking for, actually, that's going to be lower, uh, for about 144 If it was to break up, past, so that's the thing, that your trade here, guys, will be at the break of this, not in the middle, unless you want to trade in the middle. Uh, patience is patience. You will make tons more money. Wait for breaks. Uh, two twenty five. So if breaks two twenty five, it could be going up to two eighty three. Um, otherwise, I'm looking for the one forty four. And if you look at this as one big bear, bear flag, the super bearish case is gonna be about ninety cents. But that would have to break these old lows. So. Look for the dollar to hold, maybe. But those would be my targets for ADA. Uh, AVAX. Never heard of it. You guys know I don't really screw with these coins at all, but I will look at them for you. Um, AVAX. Uh, major bearish divergence here. Let's take a look. We'll zoom in a little bit. This obviously must be a new coin, huh? Uh, something I want to look at right quick here. Clone that. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Clone. Oh, look at that. All right, so it bounced off the 55 EMA here on the 4-hour. Made some bullish divergence. So uh, we're also going to take a look at this. We'll zoom in a little bit more here. Mm. Looks like this may be where it gets resistance and continues down. Um, do you see this triangle right here? We are we have tested that for resistance. If it breaks above this 65.5, let's say actually uh 66 66.3. If it is able to break that, I'd be looking for a test of this trend line about 73. But honestly, this thing looks like it's gonna come down. And let's see. The bearish case is right down here about 52.5 if if it breaks that 62.80 to the downside um it's it's right now fighting with resistance here so keep a close eye on that it is above the emas so uh it's possible it gets one more shot up because of this bullish divergence but remember, bullish does, divergence doesn't mean it has to shoot to the sky. It just sh says there's going to be a bounce. So there's your bounce. It might be it. Go into a smaller time frame real quick. Um, and no divergence there yet. But if it closes up in this range, it's going to show bearish divergence. So I'd be I'd be cautious. I'd be cautious in any damn crap coin just because uh, they that is like going to the casino or buying a lottery ticket, in my opinion. <clears throat> dot. I think we did dot earlier today. We did, and dot broke through 
well, the last time I charted it, um, so it did break that, which is not good for dot. And whoops, I don't know why there's not a target on there. There should have been, but it does look like dot is. Oh, let me see something else. I'm gonna mess this chart up a little bit, guys. Yeah, so dot's target, um, <clears throat> unless he can break back above this trend line, which is about 40, 43.25. If it can break past that 43.25, then it may get up to the 46.93 range. Otherwise, uh, this is the target here, about 35.40. But again, this one's showing some uh, hidden bullish divergence also. So could get another push up here. Let me clone this line real quick. Put it down. See if this lines up. It does. That's a possibility that this is just a, a rising channel. Let me get that off of there. So if that's the case, your bullish case would be breaking this breaking this low that it just made. Then you can look for about 34 bucks. Um, the high here is going to be back up around this range, which is gonna be around your 46.80 range. But the EMAs are turning over pretty harshly here. Be careful. Always be careful in any trading. CRV. So I'm just picking random, not by people's names. So um, we'll see, CRV. Same thing, a little bit of bullish divergence, obviously getting a bounce here. Uh, it looks more like just a wedge was formed there. Yeah, this is why I hate altcoins. Just look at this crap. It's just a bunch of people dumping on other people. <laughs> oh, let's see. So, this could be going a little bit higher. Let's do this. And this, Ooh, I don't like that one. Let's do this. So if this gets a pump or continues to pump, uh, this would be the target. And then we'll see if that target lines up with anything else. So if this thing continues to pump, this would be where I would look for a possible short. Right around this area. Um, that would also line up with this being a bull flag here. Uh, get you this pretty close to the same target. So move this, widen this up a little bit. So yeah, somewhere in this range, just to be safe, we'll go about here. Four dollars and seventy cent range <clears throat> is definitely a possibility there. Otherwise, if it rolls over, I'm coming back down to test this area, the three dollar area, right at these two peaks. And next, shorting and longing. Oh, it's a stupid. You buy the bottom, sell on top, only to make bad buy. Buy it when it dips below the dollar cost average on your way down. Yeah, I don't play in alts at all. But you say shorting and longing. Oh, it's a stupid. Uh, the people that shorted Sheeb yesterday killed it. So, I mean, do what you will. Some people are good at it. Some people ain't. Depends on your strategy. <clears throat> all right so what else we got moon river what the hell is that oh and it's only on kraken Ugh. good luck crap ass exchange man all right what do we got here
Looks like it's going to come back down to retest this again um, just because of the RSI. But here's your high on that. And your measured move for the break of this. If it breaks to the downside, I uh, would be breaking that 21 EMA on the four hour. And your target, if that was to break here before going up, is this the mark? Oh, it's the dollar. We're on 292. KCS. KCS. Um, I'm doing this today, but usually this is only for members, and, and there's members in here asking me, but I did ask the members today if I should do it publicly, and they said no, so I won't be doing this um, other than for the members on the member videos. All right, so... Let's see. Um, this is definitely making a rising wedge in the RSI. Mm, does look like it's going to be doing a top here. Um, I do know a lot about crypto. What I, I know things that only a YouTuber knows and most will never tell you because they make money off of it. But I won't go there. Do what you will. Believe what you will. Um, I trade. There's a lot more money in trading than a lot of people get. Yeah, this looks pretty, uh, pretty toppy, man. Looks pretty toppy. And so this will be, if it does come down, I would look for coming down around this 200 EMA, uh, so if it is to break this level, your next stop is going to be way back down here, which is pretty damn ugly, but it would be confluent with old support and resistance. So uh, that's where I would be looking. Uh, there is a bullish case too. If you put a trend line across the top, be careful. If I were to short this, I would probably, whoops, wait for this to break. Savvy, you've checked the good ones so far. Wait until you see the really shit one. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. Really shit one. Which one would that be? Let's put it. So watch for a break of this before you get too bearish. Um, definitely draw that in there because... In the super bullish case here, oh, it's going to be somewhere up in this area. And let's see what that's confluent with. Uh, yeah, some old support and resistance areas. But, but this, this here looks bearish to me on the RSI for sure, so... FG, do you think drawing a few lines will make something keep shouting downwards? It's perfect for human indicators. Think savvy. Uh, apparently, you don't understand anything. I was just drawing lines on a lot of coins that hit, like, for instance, this yesterday. That's what people don't get. If you don't, if you don't get crypto, you don't get crypto. Or if you don't get charting, you don't get charting. If you if you don't believe it, it'll never work for you because you'll never be able to see it. 
Um, that's that's just a fact. Just like here, you know, that nailed it. Um, just like these lines drawn on Ethereum, nailed it. Um, Litecoin, nailed them. So, I mean, do what you will, guys. If you don't like it, roll out. What the hell are you paying for? Uh, so... And these people with negative comments have negative lives. I'm showing some bearish divergence here on the... Oh, that's the daily. It's going to the four-hour... Looks a lot like Bitcoin right there, don't it? Let's see. Did get a jump up there. Okay, so I kind of see what I'm looking at now. So this would be... This would be my target for Solano or Solana, whatever the hell it is. Bam. 242. Maybe a new high. Unless you break back, back down below this uh, 186. It's an exchange token, so I can see it going up as Binance pisses off more people. Inker Image Rocks. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. Yeah, definitely check out my wife's webpage, guys, if you haven't already. Inkerimage.com. Um, there's a crypto section. A lot of great gift ideas. She can put anything you want on any of this stuff. Link is down below. Inkerimage.com. Definitely check it out. It's my wife. She makes all the stuff herself. Definitely check it out. She's got an oops section for uh, stuff she screwed up. You can't really tell. She's just really picky, though. Go back over. Oh, what the hell? This is. What did I do there? I didn't mean to make my BTC chart a soul chart. Oh, damn it. I don't mean to make a euro either. What the hell? Hold on a second, guys. I screwed up my chart. Don't want to do that. <laughs> Testing a 21 EMA on the four hour. Study on chain. It's on chain with Wall Street analysis the other day. On chain does not tell you shit except after the fact. If you remember back here, your your Superman Willy Woo was super bullish. Bitcoin. Chain on chain analysis, everybody's holding, it's going up, it's going to a hundred thousand, and then boom. And then on chain told you after the fact, oh no, watch out, they're unloading their wallets. On chain does not work for predicting shit. It will tell you what happened afterwards. That's about it. Having stuff made for our semen, your dog. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, she really enjoys the the dog stuff. Obviously, most of you guys know we have a couple dogs. Mm. Mm. So, here you go. This will be interesting. Watch this trend line here for the uh, 
show you something real quick on the four hour. See this trend line that we had in here on the RSI for the four hour? Actually, since we're zoomed in, move it up a little bit. See if the four hour gets rejected here at close. We have three hours. And this, if we close down in this area without getting back up to here, again, this is possible at 62.4 area. But if so, watch for a rejection here. Now remember, the RSI follows the body, not the wick. So it doesn't matter what happens in the meantime, it's where it closes. So if it closes below this trend line, chances are it comes back down. And if you can see, and again, it's four hours, so you can't really um, go by it yet. But seeing where it closes, if it closes in this range, um, that's going to be bearish divergence. But we'll see where it closes. Again, it's got three hours. We're playing with the 21 EMA right now. XRP. Thanks for the super chat, man. XRP is playing in the EMAs right now. And let's take a look at... Well... Here's my XRP. It's This is the big picture we've been looking at for a while. We can actually move this down now. So if you want to be bullish on XRP, um, the break of 121 would be the bullish case. If not, the bearish case is coming back down to this bottom trend line again. Um, let's take a look at this also. I don't know if I put the target on there, but the bullish target, if this is able to break, that 121 would be about $2.80. <clears throat> I mean, it's possible, but again, all this stuff depends on what Biddy does and traditional markets. Traditional markets rule the roost. Let's see what DXY is doing. Is it dropping? No, nope, it's still sitting there, sitting right on support. Tristan, yes, I can. Let's see something. Speaking of fibs, let's put the fibs on this real quick. And see where that's getting us bounce from. 0. 0.382 fib. Nice. This is where I see the dollar going, guys. About that 97.80. Um, and possibly much, much higher. But that's my next uh, target if this support here doesn't break. One. Let's check out one. Crazy looking chart. Uh... Hmm. Well, we could. Buddy, I make money trading the markets. So if you don't understand that and you don't believe in trading, um, unsubscribe, cancel your membership, brother, roll out. So let's take a look at one. So this was obviously this move. Let's see if that played out. It did. You see that made that top. Um, this is where, let's go into this. Let's put another one here. Another one here. Let's check this one. Same thing. Um, could this continue? Looks like you might have one more little push up here, and I'll show you why. But I'd be careful after that.
34. <clears throat> and then what you might see after that, and that pure speculation, but is a head and shoulders with more downside. But this is pretty damn rounded chart. Yeah, I don't know nothing about this coin, Harmony, but obviously they're shilling the shit out of it, huh? What chart? Damn it. That's my DXY chart. Why did I screw that up? Keep screwing up the charts on my own. Right on, Gibby. All right, guys. Have a great day. I am out of here. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try to make it an early video. No guarantees. But thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. I'm out.